Welcome to the Shovel Town Brewery. I'm Dave Clifton. I'm here along with Anne Marie Taylor. And of course, uh, what we're trying to do is to uh, let everybody in town know that uh, there's a giant celebration coming in the year 2025. The town of uh, Easton will be celebrating its 300th anniversary. And of course, uh, 1725 to uh, 2025. Anne Marie, you got a beer in your hand. Tell us about it. Yes. So the brewery has been kind enough to collaborate with the Easton Tricentennial Committee, and this is their tricentennial beer being revealed tonight, just now, when it turned five o'clock. It is a golden ale. The can is gorgeous. It tastes delicious. So this will be available through the year 2025, made especially for us. So we're there. We're very proud of them and thankful. Uh, right now I have with me Frank Terry. He's the guy that uh, runs the show here at the brewery. And of course, uh, we thank you very much for hosting one of our first events as we plan and prepare for the year 2025. Tell us about that uh, sure, can um, that you have. Sure, I'll it, tell you a little. I know it's a shovel time, but uh, lots of good things here. Yeah, so um, as you know, we're, we, we're proud to be a member of the Easton community. We're really uh, thankful for all of our customers that come and, and patronize us because without them, we couldn't do it. When we were asked to be a part of the uh, tricentennial, we, of course, we wanted to be, you know, engaged in, in that for sure. So um, we brewed a, a commemorative beer for this. It's actually a um, golden ale and it was intended to embody uh, kind of the spirit of Easton with a nice light fluffy taste and <laughs> and really to show off show off the craftsmanship here uh, that we we carry on from the tradition of making some of the world class shovels to um, the beer that we've been producing here for quite some time, uh, for about seven years now. And you don't stay in business as a, as a restaurant or brewery for seven years without doing something right. And, I, and we owe it to the community also who support us and come out for the various events we have, like the Tricentennial. So we're very excited to be part of it, be part of it today, and to um, you know really help kick off this great time. And uh, you know we've got some. I know that the committee's got some great events. One of our our operations manager has been working really closely. Will Hope has been working really closely with the committee, and he helped design the beer. They got the label together. Um, and all the other things that we're going to be part of for the tricentennial. So we thank you guys also for all the work you've put in to, to pulling this together, because I, I know there's been a number of uh, meetings and, and planning and execution that has to take place to, to really pull this off. I'll tell you, Frank, it feels good to uh, give back to the community and to do what you can. There's going to be a giant parade. There's going to be a bonfire. There's going to be fireworks. We also uh, going to have a gala at Stonehill College on December 12th. That's the final event. We're going to open up at Stonehill College with our kickoff event. And we thank uh, you as uh, the leader of Shovel Town Brewery for uh, kicking us off and getting us started. And uh, we know that you're gonna jump in and help uh, during the course of the year. We're gonna be getting ready. Uh, we'll be selling merchandise at the summer concerts, at the Harvest Fair, lots of places. But the brewery is hopping tonight with the introduction of the Golden Ale Tricentennial Beer. And of course, we're uh, three and a half to four months away from uh, a giant celebration will be a year-round celebration during the year 2025. And of course, uh, these lawn signs will be uh, scattered throughout the community. We probably have about 130 uh, pole banners that will be going up. So the next event that we are going to be at uh, selling merchandise is the end of the summer concert series, which is on 922 at 7 o'clock at Oak Sames Memorial Hall. We'll also be at the Harvest Fair um, selling merchandise. We've got some really nice things. We're selling tons and tons of bourbon glasses tonight and beer glasses. We've got sweatshirts, hats 
hats, all kinds of things. So you want to come by because there are some of these are, it's only going to be for 2025. And then we've got eight signature events. The first signature event, the biggest one, big one, starting on September, uh, January 4th, 2025 at Stonehill College. And that's going to be a great event for everybody of all ages. The brewery will also be there. We've got tons of stuff going on. You can um, look us up on our website. We also have good cheer. We have the, the Tricentennial offers good cheer and community, and we're doing a lot of community outreach. And we hope that people will take a look at eastern300.org and join in. It's going to be an awesome year of celebrations. And I just happen to be some guy who was drinking over here and just decided to jump in here, really. <laughs> I actually do have some connection to this. <laughs> actually, this is Dale Carrister, and he happens to be the vice chair of a celebration committee. Ten members appointed by the select board, and the uh, crowd is multiplied. Volunteers yes, volunteers. all kinds of volunteers joining in on the fun. And of course, uh, this cable cast is a production of ECAD, Eastern Community Access Television. Yes, the open house, Dale, uh, that, that is uh, certainly scheduled on the 24th uh, of this month in September. And it's gonna be held at the BFW. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, so September 24th, starting at seven o'clock, and we'll be finishing up promptly at 8.30. We're gonna have a table uh, for each of the signature events so folks can come and learn a little bit more about what we've got planned. Folks can help out if they'd like. They can, especially for uh, community organizations as well. We're looking for as many folks to get involved in helping out with the planning. And a great way to do it is come out on September 24th to the VFW, and we're also serving light refreshments, are we not? We have light refreshments, so it's going to be it's going to be a great event. So, so I've I've already done enough on jumping into here. So I will hand the mic back and go on my way and get a beer. I'm going to get one of these babies here. Thank you very much, uh, Dale Carrister. I'm here with uh, Anne Marie Taylor, and of course your partner, organizing two major events, is not here. I'm talking about Amanda Hurley. But what can you say about her, Anne-Marie? Um, so Amanda and I are co-chairs of the kickoff event on January 4th, 2025. We're also co-chairs of the merchandise, and we're also doing the gala, which is our last event in December. But there's several events in there. I wanted to say also there's so many events, and we're going to give so much to this community because they give so much to everybody. If you, we need volunteers. We can't do it all by ourselves. So go to our QR, you can go to our website, go to our Facebook and Instagram, and we're all there. So back to you. Thank you so much, uh, Anne-Marie uh, Taylor, for all of your expertise and your hard work and coordinating. We have a major parade that's gonna take place here in the town of Easton on July 12th, 2000. Uh, uh, 25. Uh, there's going to be a bonfire, a picnic, and a concert scheduled on October 11th. And of course, uh, there's going to be a block party at Governor Ames Estate. That uh, block party is scheduled for September 6th. And of course, it's going to open up with an event at Stonehill College. And the final event will be the gala at Stonehill College, and that is scheduled for December. 27th. We have uh, a lot of town residents that are here today as we uh, challenge and taste the new beer that uh, has been put together uh, for the celebration. And uh, we have an open house for any volunteer out there that would like to join us and be part of this celebration. We thank uh, ECAT Eastern Community Access Television for covering this event. Yeah, and uh, we thank all the volunteers that uh, are stepping up to the plate to do what they can to make this celebration very special. Thank you.